Let's speak into the lifestyle of Jim Thompson, an architect, an avid art collector, and a businessman who revived the Thai silk industry in the 50s and the 60s. Today I'll take you around the Jim Thompson house which has been converted into a museum. It's a collection of six Thai style houses which has been reassembled in the center of the city of Bangkok. First, we took a guided tour so we could have a better understanding about the history behind the beautiful house, the art collection and the silk weaving process. The tour was around 30 to 40 minutes and once it got over we went around to have a better look of the beautiful house, the antiques, the artifacts, the sculptures, the paintings, the porcelain pottery which he had collected over the years uh, while traveling the South Asian countries. The oldest image dates around 7th to the 8th century. He has a sizable collection of Buddha statues and chandeliers. Now, these are the beautiful artifacts which he has collected over the years. Uh, lovely teak wood almeras and kitchen stairs. This is the lower deck of the house, uh, which is an which opens towards the garden. A blue pottery, lovely carvings. Beautiful angel on the wall. lovely teak wood table with blue porcelain in the center and this is one of the treasured Buddha statues this is one of the treasured wall hanging which is made with gold and silver thread embedded with precious stone on the hand-woven silk screen. There, there are a lot of uh, small houses around. Now this is the veranda and the living room of his house. This is one of the main entrance which overlooks the canal on the other side of the canal lived the Weavers community who worked for Jim Thompson. A beautiful living room. The weavers would come to visit him from here. They would come on the boat because they would live on the other side of the canal. It's a beautiful veranda where he used to sit with them and plan out his designs. 
this is a beautiful living room which is constructed with 100 year old wooden planks that once belonged to the weavers community and it displays the different paintings artifacts that he had collected over the years and look out for the four wooden burmese guardian spirits sculptor on the four display niche there's a belgian chandelier the cane uh, uh, chairs e each piece has a story behind it and that is the uh, beautiful bedroom which has a mount meru sculpture a wooden door with 100 engraved positions of buddha in it such beautiful wooden carved doors this is the indoor sta staircase with a series of decorative wall hangings from the various temples in the upper deck these are the italian tiles which were exported the upper deck of this house has a kitchen a dining room a bedroom and a guest room which is filled with collection of masterpieces now we are going towards these smaller houses which were actually uh, for the uh, housekeepers and cooks now that's the spirit house which you find it everywhere in the thai house now this is the room where all the thai and burmese manuscript paintings related to thai astrology mythology is displayed This is the Thai and Burmese uh, manuscripts, which is written with gold. And some of them are engraved with uh, precious stones. Uh, next, this is another small house of the housekeeper, which has now Uh, here the artifacts blue pottery collection and uh, which ha he has been collecting over the years from Cambodia Japan China Laos is displayed beautiful wooden panel Lovely umbrellas to give shade. 
Now this is the exit of the house. Now we move towards the garden with the tropical plants. There are beautiful ponds and fountains in this area. That is this beautiful dining section. Uh, we cannot go inside. So this is the bookstore which has collection of books related to his life and his travels. That is the reception. And the dining section of the beautiful house so I picked this book on my way back on my way back I there were around two artificial ponds on both sides of the house with beautiful fishes and water plants on it and before leaving, I just wanted to visit the store, the brand store, which had a beautiful collection of shawls, tools, and uh, then we had lunch in the restaurant upstairs is the art center where workshops are conducted i hope you love this vlog and do subscribe and share and, and next time i'll take you to another incredible place